Uvalde Radio rocks your concert station doing a warrant concert warm up. The big show is this Friday at the ESPY in San Antonio as Uvalde Radio welcomes Warren Winger, Steelheart, Lita Ford. It's going to be a great time. You just heard their uh, second single off the third album and uh, one, of, one of my very, very favorites, The Bitter Pill. And uh, this is an exciting moment for me. As you guys know, I am a fan. So joining me on the phone, founding member, rhythm guitarist, Eric Turner. Welcome. Hey, hey. Man. good morning. Let's pour some coffee. I'm telling you what. Well, thank you for joining us, man. We're totally stoked about having you guys back in Texas, specifically San Antonio, this Friday night at the SB, which is just a really cool venue. I don't know if you've ever been out there before, but it's kind of a indoor outdoor thing with a lot of great uh, a great view of, uh, of downtown San Antonio. So you're gonna have a great time. That sounds awesome. I don't think we've played there before. We love San Antonio. We love Texas, of course, and we love to rock the great package. All the bands get along great, and you're going to hear just a ton of hit songs from the past. Now, Eric, I know it's probably been a while, or maybe it's been pretty recent, and I know you've spent a lot of time in Texas, because I personally have seen you guys dozens of times uh, in concert. Uh, Any special memories uh, specifically in Texas, whether it's San Antonio, Dallas, Houston, Austin, that come to your mind whenever you hear Texas? What do you think of as far as memories go? Well, you know, one of the first times we played in Texas was on my birthday. must have been 1989. Wow. And uh, Janie used to be pretty wild on stage and, you know, use some foul language and stuff. <laughs> and I guess the town constable was not too happy about the language he was using. So after the show, he came backstage looking for Janie, wanted to arrest him or something like that. And uh, Janie slipped out the back and it was just kind of like, whoa, okay, we never played a gig where... Um, you know, there was a language violation. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like something old school you'd see in a redneck town in a movie like Footloose or something, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, totally. I'm trying to think if it was Lubbock, I want to say. I'm not sure. I can't remember the city, but I think it was Lubbock. And it was my birthday, of course, so I remember that as well. But uh, we always have great times in Texas. Um, I love Texas. I live in North Texas. And uh, looking forward to rocking, rocking the house. Well, you know, that, that story is very on brand for Lubbock, so that's good. Um, you know, I, I, I remember that you guys caused quite a stir at that. I think it was a free show in Dallas, like Market. Um, remember that we used to do those free shows in yeah. Dallas? And you guys had like the record number of people that, I mean, it pretty much shut down downtown Dallas, as I recall, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that was a good one. I think it was called Dallas Alley or something. Yes, like Dallas that. Alley. And we were doing a free show. And uh, they were expecting about 5,000 people, and something like 25,000 people <laughs> showed up. And it was just, we made, the next day we were on the front of the Dallas News. And, uh, you know, everything went, as far as I can remember, everything was cool. There was no big drama or anything, yeah. other than the fact they were unprepared for such a large crowd. And, of course, we loved it. And another... Another great, well, you know, everything's bigger in, in Texas, right? That's right. In Dallas. You should expect a bigger crowd. Well, not to get too cheesy or sentimental, but, you know, I, your first album came out when I was 16. So the music of Warrant pretty much defined, you know, my, my good years. You know, I think, I think it's safe to say that most young men, their best years are like, you know, 16 to 24. And, uh, you know, as far as just, girls and cars and rock and roll and a little bit of drinking, a little bit of this and that. And you guys provided the soundtrack for me and my, my close core of friends live. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for you guys creating that music and coming, coming to our town, man, and performing for us live all those years. So we're excited to kind of relive those days again this weekend. So let's talk a little bit more about the package, man. Again, you got winger and Lita and Steelheart in there. Have you kept up with uh, a lot of these guys over the years, or is this going to be more of a kind of a family reunion, uh, um, at this show as well, too, these tours, these shows? You know, we have uh, the same agent as all those bands. Mm-hmm. Uh, we might play three to, you know, seven shows with Lita every year. We might play ten shows with with Winger. You know, we'll play a handful of shows with Steelheart. So, you know, we, we're very familiar with those bands. We all get along, you know, the bands, the crews, everybody. Um, so having this package together with all four of us is going to be a lot, of, a lot of great energy. It's going to be a, a fun night of rock and roll. And the cool thing is, is that you're in San Antonio Friday, you're in the Houston area Saturday, and then in Dallas on Sunday. So you get kind of a triple threat, man, all weekend uh, in Texas, some, some of the biggest, best markets with some of the biggest and best bands. Um, how, how do you think going into it, how are you going to feel, and how, how exhausted are you going to become Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully uh, I should be really tired on Monday. 
we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, um, you know, we're used to doing this. And we play, I don't know, 50, 60 shows every year, mostly in the United States. We, we get up into Canada a little bit as well. So we're, we're used to it. We love it. And um, we're coming off a six-week break. Our guitar player had surgery on his hand, and uh, I'm happy to say it went great. He's feeling good. He's playing good, and we're looking forward to rocking. Now you're talking about Joey. Joey's still on guitar? Yep, Joey Allen. We got Joey Allen on guitar. Yep. And um, Stephen Sweet on drums. Jerry Dixon on bass most of the time. Okay. He's taking a little bit, little bit of a, I don't know what you would call it, a, a milder schedule, touring schedule for mm-hmm. him. But he does come out and play and once in a while from time to time. So, yeah, four out of five of us are still rocking. we got Robert Mason on vocals. We've done two albums with Robert, Louder, Harder, Faster, and another album called Rockaholic. And he's been in the band, hard to believe it, for 15 years already. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, he's been in the band longer than Janie was, right? I mean... Technically. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Technically, I think you're probably right. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> crazy. I, I just can't believe how much time has gone by. Just Time keeps on ticking, just like Steve Miller says. It does. And you guys have managed to get out two albums. And I know that uh, you guys have said, you know, there's not really a uh, you're not you're not trying to follow a hard, fast schedule as far as releasing new music. But for those who are interested, man, tell me what's what's the ETA? What's the progress on any new music at all? And and if if there is uh, something new to talk about, are you guys going to be working with Frontier Records again? Because they they seem to be uh, doing really well with you guys. Yeah, we're not sure what we're going to do as far as new music. Um, It's just been uh, a little bit. Yeah, there's just been some stuff going on where we haven't really been doing any new music. We mm-hmm. have some riffs thrown around. We have some half-finished songs going on. Um, due to some personal stuff going on, we're just uh, kind of on hold as far as the new record goes. Nothing horrible, but just band stuff. We're always excited to have you guys back in town on tour, just cranking out the hits. So that's cool. If that's what we got to settle for for now, we will take it. Again, on the phone, Eric Turner from Warrant. The show is this Friday at the SB in San Antonio. Also playing a Saturday in the in the Houston area and Sunday in Dallas at the uh, the factory, which is formerly the Bomb Factory in Deep Ellum. I, I saw in an interview recently, Eric, you guys are talking about how bands just don't party like they used to, uh, you know, post show like they did in the eighties. And you, you know, you kind of said, well, you guys are obviously. So you're older now, you know, and you got families and kids and whatnot. So that kind of makes sense. Sure. But you had noted that even the younger bands, you know, aren't really partying like they used to. I had a thought. Do you think maybe some of this is because we all have these like high quality cell phones nowadays where you just can't get, you know, everything's public. You can't just, <laughs> the, you can't do debauchery like you used to, right? Without it ending up on, on, and on the computer, on the news, and even then there's PC culture, you know? Nowadays, do you think PC culture's keeping people from being rock stars? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, everybody's different. Everybody does their own thing. I, I don't hang around a lot of new bands, so it's just kind of a general observance. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, they're, they're younger, smarter, and, and uh, you know, just different times, you know? The 80s were crazy. <laughs> Decade of decadence, you know? <laughs> Well, we're so glad that you went through it with us, man. And you guys did. It was, well, I don't know, man. I like my rock stars to be rock stars. I want to see you guys do things <laughs> that I know I can't get away with. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that <laughs> that you guys did it, you know, because we we got to live vicariously through you guys. Um, earlier this year, man, there was a release of that um, Song and Dance Man, a tribute to Warrant and Janie Lane. I'm wondering, have you, did you guys, um, the remaining members of Warrant, did you guys have any input into that? Were you, you know, consulting? And uh, if so, what's your thoughts on on that project? And have you heard it? Yeah, no, no, and no. I have not <laughs> not heard it. So, um, what what is it? Just a, a song? Yeah, it's a, what's a tribute album? Al- a, a whole tribute album you know, to yeah, the music of Warrant. You know, Janie Lane era, and, and I think it's pretty pretty well done. I know his uh, his daughter Maddie does uh, a version of Heaven on there, and I okay, think okay, okay, yeah. And I think his brother's involved, too. I just kind of wondered if, you know, that had come across your desk or if you guys have streamed it, you know, to uh, take a listen. Or, again, if you guys were consultants in in any capacity. But I guess not. No, no, we weren't contacted that I'm aware of. And, um, you know, maybe, I I don't know. I wasn't, I didn't hear about it. But I'm going to go check it out. That sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. His daughter's daughter's a talented singer. And he's, uh, you know, she's, she looks, you know, she's, we, we are in contact with, with, uh, with his kids here and there, so which is nice. 
Fantastic. That's good to know. Well, man, you know, and I'm sure that most of you guys are family, man. What is that like, you know, having that rock star hat and then family man hat? Uh, obviously, you said, you know, you, you're clearly not touring like you used to back in the the heyday. But um, is there a trick that, that uh, makes it all easier or, or uh, how, how do you balance that rock star and then, you know, dad family life? Well, we go out and do weekend warrior shows. So, like, mm-hmm. we're playing three three shows this weekend, and then we're home during the week. So, we kind of do that all year round. So, sometimes we're home for a couple weeks, and we go out and play for four or five days, and then, you know, home for a week, and then go play a show. You know, sometimes we'll go out and just play one show on a weekend and come back, sometimes two, sometimes three. There's no rhyme or reason to it. So, it's a good schedule. Get to go out and play rock star on the weekend and then come home and be dad and husband. And I'm sure you guys have the money coming in on the residuals and, and the merchandise. I was, I was on your website and I, my, my best friend is, is a huge Warren fan. I was going to do some online Warren Christmas shopping for him. Man, you guys have like skateboards and you guys have cherry pie scented candles. Um, I know back in the day, uh, for my then wife, I bought her a pair of cherry pie panties <laughs> that you guys, <laughs> that you guys autographed backstage at Dallas city limits. Uh, <laughs> but, um, oh, that's, good. that's great. What's the crazy? Craziest merchandise that you've ever seen your logo, you know, planted on there. You're like, wow, this is this is weird, even for us. Well, I would say probably the panties. You know? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, nothing really too crazy with us. You know, we've done all the usual stuff with coffee mugs and glasses and just you know, lots of t-shirts and the skateboards are pretty are new and cool. I love those. Um, but yeah. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Man, fantastic. Again, we're talking to Eric Turner of Warrant. The show is Friday night, San Antonio at the SB. And uh, let's go and get a preview of what the show's going to be like, man. I know that, you know, we've all seen Warrant concerts over the years. Uh, is there anything uh, in particular that's different about this set uh, set list that you guys worked up for us? Or is this going to be the hits and, you know, uh, a great Warrant show? going to be the hits, great Warrant show, good time, party rock. Um, we will play one song off our um Louder, Harder, Faster record, cool. album, CD, streamer. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's, man, it's the first two albums pretty much. We'll play one song off Doggy Dog, and nice. we're going to play all the, you know, the Down Boys and Heaven, Uncle Tom's Cabin, Sometimes She Cries, you know, all the videos, Big Talk, Blind Faith, and uh, just keep the, keep the hits rolling. Hey, just in case, just in case you don't hear it enough, and I think you probably do. But man, Doggy Dog is just the coolest record ever. I don't. Th- I hope you guys hear that from your fans enough. Uh, I just think that that there is, is like, uh, yeah. There's a group of like a, that record has like a cult following. Yeah. Unfortunately, we put that album out. The Nirvana had just come out, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I think we played like 35 shows in the U.S., and then Janie quit, and then quit the band for a while so that record never really got a good push you know for example on the cherry pie album we did 200 shows right for dirty rotten we did 262 shows or something like that and then doggy dog really didn't get a a fair shake but it it went gold which is awesome and it definitely has its own cult following of people who all you know come up to you and say hey man doggy dog's my favorite album you know yeah i did so it really was, again, life-changing for me as a fan, man. So I just want to say thank you for that, because me and my boys, we still crank that thing all the time, man. Crank it to 11. Um, I guess um, let's talk about this, because I know that you guys have been doing uh, special kind of VIP experiences. Is that still available for the San Antonio, uh, Houston, or Dallas yeah. shows? And if so, give us some details yeah. on that stuff. Yeah, they are. If you go to national um nationalacts.com you can go to just warrantrocks.com and mm-hmm. select the VIP tab and they have different packages there's a package that includes a skateboard and guitar picks you get an 8x10 you get a laminate you get to meet the band take pictures we'll find something for you and uh, it's doing pretty well we sold quite a few already for uh, for this weekend so I'm happy to see Texas showing us some VIP love as well 
Absolutely, man. Well, Eric, it's been awesome catching up with you. And again, the shows are Friday, San Antonio, Saturday, the Houston area, the Sugarland, and then on a Sunday in Deep Ellum at the factory. And uh, and if, if you're a good Warren fan, little boys and girls like you should be, go to all three. Make it a road trip weekend because Warren's doing it. <laughs> um, again, the website is warrantrocks.com, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, Eric, we're doing, a, we're doing a mini concert here. We're just doing a whole chunk of Warrant tunes. Pick me a song that you that maybe one that you don't feel like gets enough love that you'd like to hear us play. Well, this is a rare cut that we play from, uh, it's the B-side to Cherry Pie. It's called Thin Disguise. We yeah. started playing at five. We'll be playing it this weekend. So that would be cool if you played Thin Disguise. Absolutely. One of our favorites. All right, man. So here it is, Thin Disguise Warrant. Don't miss them this weekend in Texas. Eric, thank you so much for your time, man. Thanks, man. You rock. I appreciate all the love and the kind words and support over the years. You're awesome. 